they come down this 2,000 foot straightaway and head for that second set of turns and we near the end. Into the 31 degree banking, a three car separation and Petty content to stay right on the tail end of David Pearson staying directly in that draft, not making any move high or low, but ready to roll all that ice on the last lap. Here they come, front two automobiles moving by and the two lap mark comes out for David Pearson and Richard Petty. Two laps remaining for the Pure Leader Mercury and the STP Dodge as 65,000 people stand and cheer and the field moves into turn one. Pearson still out front of the Pure Leader Mercury, Petty right behind of the STP Dodge and the pit crew cannot help you now, it's up to you. You're out there with a couple of laps to go and David screams out the number two corner, Petty chases him down towards turn number three. And down this back straightaway, Petty stays behind by one or two car lengths yet as David Pearson and the Pure Leader Mercury comes on down this passing corner, but he's still ahead and Petty's trying to catch him. So many times turn four has been one of the exciting NASCAR finishes have started and it's going to happen here again today between a couple of drivers who have slugged it out so many times for four. Five car lengths to margin as Pearson leads Petty home. Two master components in the world of motorsport trying to compose another victory. And now Pearson drops back. Petty takes the lead in turn one. Pearson dropping behind Richard Petty. Petty goes into the first turn. The STP dodges in front. Pearson fell off the pace for a moment as Petty comes sailing around. Whether it's just a maneuver on David's part or whether he has problems, we'll know in a minute because Pearson is now six, eight car lengths behind as they leave turn two and head for turn three. The checkered flag will be the next flag out. They have taken the white flag. They're down the back stretch. David Pearson now moving up on Richard Petty, but Petty has the lead. There's five car lengths still between them, and Petty goes into the second set of turns in the lead. Pearson closing it up, goes high on the racetrack. Now just two points, uh, two car lengths separating the two. Let's see where the move's going to make. It's one car length separation as they head for the checkers. Richard Petty is in front. They almost touch in turn four. Here comes Pearson down the inside. It could be a dead heat finish at the line. David Pearson wins it. Pearson wins it by less than five or ten feet. He came with a slingshot out of turn number four, pulling around the draft, and David Pearson has defeated Richard Petty at the line, and it is a dead heat for third. Cale Yarborough and Buddy Baker are almost identically side by side for third. We'll have to wait for the official finish on that one, as Cale Yarborough and Buddy Baker, the Carling car and the RC Cola car, came across wheel to wheel. David Pearson is now headed down toward victory lane at the Daytona International Speedway after this tremendous victory from Richard Petty as he came out of the fourth turn. He pulled the breast of him just as they came to the top of Pitt Road and he beat him coming across the line. It was a great race all day long.